Hello everyone. I just want to open up this video with uh, letting you know that this was filmed with a GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition and that helicopter noise that you hear in the background is a known defect in the GoPro um, 4 series, especially in the GoPro Hero 4 Black. Okay. Um, look it up, look up helicopter noise. It's all over the place. Um, it's, a, it's a manufacturing defect in the camera and it mainly happens when you're using the Wi-Fi um, over a uh, video connection with your phone and whatnot. So um, anyway, that said, go ahead and enjoy this video and um, I'm just gonna put some notes in this uh, topic about this issue and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. If you do, go ahead and hit like. Thank you. Hello everybody. This is an update to my previous videos um, regarding the solar setup. As you can see here, there's a whole lot more connections and there's a couple extra boxes and there's an extra inverter. Okay. Forgive me for the mess. Um, I'm not completely done with it. So let's start. So right here we have the original inverter. It's a single phase inverter. Okay, it's connected to outlets on the house that we installed. We basically installed an electric box onto the house um, when we originally installed this. And um, so basically it goes out to a panel on the house and then that goes to outlets. Okay. Um, right here is a two-phase inverter that we've installed it's an Ames power 24 volt two-phase inverter what that allows us to do is run the pressure system okay we have a well pump we have a well since we live in the mountains and so we have to pressurize the well system that runs on two-phase power you know it runs on 220 um, circuits which this inverter does not provide this only provides um, single phase um, circuits okay so now this is actually wired directly to the panel the main panel on the outside of the house okay we have an AC disconnect switch here sorry that's a cat came in here that's what you're hearing in the background um, so basically this is this turns on and off the power going to the house okay so it's an on off switch this here is a breaker box that I have installed between the on off switch and the house okay it's got two it's got, a, it's got a dual 60 amp I don't know if you can see that in this light it's got a dual 60 amp um, breaker okay that way nobody gets hurt by accident and I've installed another combiner box right here and this is actually the charge controller that we were using for the turbine so what I've done is um, since I only have a 60 amp charge controller MPPT charge controller here um, I have I have a lot more power coming in from the solar panels than 60 amps okay so I, I divided that up I am installing some of the solar panels onto this 35 amp uh, PWM charge controller so we basically have two charge controllers um, the turbine and some solar panels is going to be coming through this box here and going out to the batteries then there's a disconnect uh, breaker right there that I've installed and uh, that's that so basically instead of hooking the generator up to the house whenever the power goes out for a few days at a time and it's cloudy um, in order to run the well system you know to pressurize the hot water tank the um, 
uh, well pump and uh, pressure tanks, I don't have to do that anymore. I can just use this and power everything off the batteries. Now, there is something else that I've still got in place. Let's say it's dark for a long period of time and there's no wind. I do have a supplemental power source capability that I didn't have installed in the previous video, but I do now. Oh, just for the record, there's the um, boxes feeding the outlets from the um, single phase inverter. Okay, let's say the power goes out for a long period of time. I've got this. Okay, this is a plug so that I can plug in a generator to the house. And the cool thing about the way that I set this up is let's say I have to switch over. This is the disconnect from the grid. This is the grid when it's on. And then if I take this and slide it down, that will either enable the two-phase inverter or a generator. Okay? If the sun isn't working and the wind's not working enough to power the batteries, you know, if it's real dark for a long period of time, then I can just plug a generator into this. This goes right through the house, okay? Plugs into the main terminal inside the house. And so, while the generator is running this, the well system, and it can also charge the batteries because it will send power back through the charger that's installed on the single phase inverter. Okay, so let's go back over here to the shed again. It's kind of a walk. It's not too bad of a walk. Okay. So if I have to hook up a generator to the house, I make sure that this is off so it's not trying to feed power back to itself. And I have an AC backhaul coming in right here from the grid that will also charge the batteries while that generator is on. And what it does full time is it, it actually charges, it helps charge the batteries using 20 amp circuit um, all the time. Okay, so it's a supplemental charging capability all the time anyway. I hope that's not too complicated, um, but that's it. That's I'm going to go ahead and just give you a quick view here, try to get everything in the camera view. I still got those uh, black cables there hanging down on the left. Those are data cables. Those are Cat6 cables that I've run to the house um, to um, to be able to display information inside the house as but I don't know when I'm going to get to that so that's that and just in addition to that all of our solar panels are high powered um, these are sun uh, what is it uh, solar world these are the solar world panels we have five more of these okay and as you can see, the new frames are all all keep the solar panels elevated. Okay, that's angle iron that I welded up using a little wire-fed uh, uh, 15 amp welder, 15 and 20 amp welder. Okay, I need to put some mats down, some tarps or something underneath this to keep the grass from growing up. These are a couple of Chinese um, Renogy. 300 watt panels here. And this is four um, Canadian solar solar panels. And if you look at these panels, they're sitting on the ground. That is not a good design that I did. That was my first solar panel frame design, okay, that I built. And I will never, 
build another one where the panels sit on the ground again because the snow, quickly, snow and ice get right there on the panels at the bottom. It's very difficult to remove and uh, you don't want anything seeping into your, into your panels. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's that. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit like if you could and feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again.